Hyderabad house in the national capital. Uh, the meeting uh, between the Kyrgyzstan president and Prime Minister Modi has just got an over from a short while from now. We'll be hearing from both the leaders there. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to today's ceremony where six documents will be exchanged. There will be two announcements and two books will be released. The first document to be exchanged is an MOU on cooperation in the field of tourism between the Ministry of Tourism of India and the Ministry of Culture, Information and Tourism of the Government of the Kyrgyz Republic. This will be exchanged on the Kyrgyz side by Foreign Minister Mr. Erlan Abid, Abidul Daev and on the Indian side by Sri M. Jagbar, Minister of State for External Affairs. The second document is an agreement on cooperation in the field of agriculture and food industry be exchanged on the Kyrgyz side by Foreign Minister Mr. Erlen Abduldaev and Sri M. J. Akbar, Minister of State, Minister of External Affairs. Next is an MOU on cooperation in the field of youth development between the Ministry of Youth Affairs and the State Agency of Youth Affairs, Physical Education and Sports of the Kyrgyz Republic to be exchanged by Foreign Minister Erlen Abduldaev and Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Sri M. Jagbar. The fourth document is an MOU on cooperation between the Foreign Service Institute of the Ministry of External Affairs and the Diplomatic Acad Academy of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Kyrgyz Republic to be exchanged by Her Excellency Ambas Ambassador Samargul Adam Kolova of the Kyrgyz uh, Republic and on the Indian side by Secretary West, uh, Ms. Sujata Mehta. <laughs> the fifth document is an MOU in the field of cooperation in youth exchange between National Cadet Corps of India and the Military Lyceum of Kyrgyz Republic to be exchanged by Ambassador Ms. Samargul Adam Kolova and Air Vice Marshal A.J. Walia, officiating DG NCC. The sixth and last document to be exchanged is the MOU on cooperation in the field of broadcasting and exchange of audiovisual programs between Prasar Bharti and the Public Broadcast Corporation of Kyrgyz Republic to be exchanged by Ambassador Ms. Samargul Adam Kolova and on the Indian side by Sri S.C. Panda, CEO Prasar Bharti. Excellencies, we are happy to report that uh, the bilateral investment treaty between India and Kyrgyzstan has been initial this morning and that a joint statement will also be released during this visit. May I now request uh, the President of Kyrgyzstan and Prime Minister to please step forward for the book release function. The first two books will be released. The first is a copy of the heroic epic of the Kyrgyz people, Manas Semitai Setak, which will be presented by President Adam Baev to Prime Minister Modi ji. May I now request Prime Minister to present the first copy of a collection of Indian poems in the Kyrgyz language, Colors of Life, to President Atambayev.
Thank you, Excellencies. This brings us to the close of the agreement exchange ceremony. I now hand over to the spokesperson of the Minister of External Affairs. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we will now have press statements by the two leaders. May I first invite the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narin Modi ji, to deliver his press remarks. Your Excellency, Mr. Almajvek Atam Baev, President of Kyrgyz Republic, ladies and gentlemen, members of the media. I am delighted to welcome President Almajvek Atambayev on his first state visit to India. Excellency, the warmth of your hospitality and welcome during my visit to the Kyrgyz Republic in July last year is still fresh in my mind. Your visit this time helped us to carry forward the momentum of our cooperation and high-level contacts. The relationship between India and Kyrgyz Republic is filled with goodwill from centuries of shared historical links. Our societies share a sense of warmth that permits our contacts with Central Asia, including the Kyrgyz Republic. We are also bound by a common belief in democratic values and traditions. Much credit goes to President Atambayev for nurturing and building strong foundations of democracy in Kyrgyz Republic. Friends, President Atambayev and I held extensive discussions on the full range of our bilateral engagement. We focus on our common priority of diversifying and deepening bilateral engagement. We also discuss how we could work together to secure our youth and society against the common challenges of terrorism, extremism, and radicalism. We agreed on the need to coordinate and work closely in addressing and overcoming these challenges for our common benefit. We regard Kyrgyz Republic as a valuable partner in our common pursuit of making Central Asia a region of sustainable peace, stability, and prosperity. The Shanghai Cooperation Organization will also give as a valuable framework to work together on these issues. Friends, President Atambayev and I reviewed our cooperative engagement in the defense field. The Kyrgyz India Mountain Biomedical Research Center is an excellent example of successful collaboration. It has proved to be a rewarding research initiative which we need to build on. We have commenced work on a Kyrgyz India Joint Military Training Center in Kyrgyz Republic. Our joint military exercise on counterterrorism are now an annual feature. The next edition has been planned for first quarter of next year in Kyrgyz Republic. Friends, President Atambayev and I agreed on the need to connect our 
economies more deeply. To this end, we will work to strengthen bilateral trade and economic linkages and facilitate greater people-to-people -people exchanges. We will encourage industry and business on both sides to play a leading role in exploiting opportunities in healthcare, tourism, information technology, agriculture, mining, and energy. We have decided to build on our development cooperation, including in capacity building and training. People have been at the center of such initiatives. We shall give special emphasis to youth exchange in our technical and economic cooperation program with Kyrgyz Republic. The understandings concluded today will support our trust in these directions. In a first with the Central Asian region, we had initiated telemedicine links with Kyrgyz Republic last year. We are taking steps to expand this project to other regions of the Kyrgyz Republic, France, India and the Kyrgyz Republic will be making the 25th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic ties between the two countries in March 2017. As we approach this milestone, President Atambayev's visit to India will drive the process and our efforts of our deepening our partnership. It will also help consolidate the recent gains in our engagement and reinforce our ties in the months and years ahead. I wish President Atambayev a memorable and productive visit in India. Thank you. Thank you very much. May I now request His Excellency Mr. Almaz Bek Atambayev, President of the Kyrgyz Republic, to deliver his press remarks. I don't hear him. No, no, no. 